Hey guys, welcome to Pellets and Pits. Hey, today is all about a smoked pizza dip. We're talking about appetizers on a pellet grill. And let me tell you something, we just kicked it up a notch. We have some clover garlic rolls. To get started, we'll make the butter for the garlic knots. One stick of butter, two cloves of garlic mints, about one teaspoon of basil, and about a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Just cook the garlic and butter until the garlic becomes fragrant and it's tender. To make it easy, we have store-bought pizza dough. You can go to your favorite pizzeria and buy theirs, or you can do like canned biscuits, something like that. But we thought we'd do a clover leaf design. Uh, one of the things that we should love to do in the Navy took a long time to do, but the results were there. Simply, you typically take the idea of like a dinner roll, cut it in thirds, roll it individually, and then drown it in butter so when you open them up, they're easy to take apart. That's the idea about the dip. You can do like a garlic knot or something like that, but I thought, you know, if you had a dinner roll, instead of dipping the whole roll in there, what if you open the dinner roll up and that kind of gives you like your dippage, your fingers? That's the idea behind it. We'll see how it comes out. We are looking for roughly uh, a one ounce portion cut into three, so 0.3 ounces. That right there is perfect. Seems small, but it will work. Garlic softened. We've got everything measured out. I really wasn't worried about how uniform these were when it comes to like the outside. All those little nooks and crannies gonna be able to uh, absorb that garlic butter. Kind of what more I'm looking for, more of a rustic. And you're just gonna place some of that garlic butter on the inside. So when these bake up, you get all those goodies. This was actually all the dough that was left. So just to give you an idea, there's not much waste, but we are definitely not gonna waste it. So if you wanna do something different than this and actually do a garlic knot, just roll it out, knot it. Just like that. One block of cream cheese. We are going to smoke it. So let's head over to the Traeger. Rocket 180, we're gonna to go to smoke mode. Yes. And of course we're rocking those smoking pecan pellets. That's been my pellet of choice lately. If you guys are interested, good news. You guys check out the link in the description below because you can save 10%. Just put the code flat top king. One hour. Next step, we have some sweet sausage and we're simply going to cook it off and then drain the grease. All righty, we're gonna throw in some marinara sauce. The option of the kind is up to you. We're not gonna get in that battle. Simply, we're gonna add the whole jar and we are going to reduce this a lot thicker. I would like to say maybe at least by a quarter, almost a half. All right, our sauce has calmed down and it is condensed. Now you're asking, why do I need to go through that extra step? A few things. One, we were talking about a dip. I like the idea of that power punch. You dip something in something, it needs to be strong, right? You don't want to have to go back because it's um, not as tasty. You want that intense flavor. When you reduce, you remove the water content, which condenses the flavor, so you get that pop. Also, we're talking about consistency. That's why we're doing the clover style rolls. When you dip it in there, you don't want it too loose where all the ingredients fall off. I think that I would want a thicker style smoked pizza dip. So those are the two reasons why we decided to reduce. Now, I reduced the whole jar because I've never done this um, idea. I mean, I reduce sauces all the time, but I just didn't know how much I wanted in the dip. So once we take this out, we're gonna adjust how much we use, but that gives you the consistency there, right there that we're looking for. Our pizza clover rolls have been sitting out for about 30 minutes. I've had them in the sun just to speed up that process. You can see what we're working with. And there is our dollar knot. We're gonna throw them in the oven about 375 till they're done. And just like that, our pizza rolls are done with that extra garlic butter. Can't ever have too much. Especially while they're still hot. Let all that garlic butter seep 
right in there. God, that looks good. Smells good too. Our cream cheese is done. Probably hard to tell from the original, but you see how much color we got on there in just an hour? That's a lot of flavor. To that, we're gonna add sour cream. And if you are interested, this recipe will be on pelletsandpits.com. Italian seasoning, basil, and garlic powder. Just give that a mix, incorporate that cream, softened cream cheese, smoked cream cheese, and sour cream. To the pan where all that Italian sausage was, I just took a paper towel, kind of like wiped it out, but I really kept some of the grease in there. This is that cream cheese, sour cream mix to the bottom of the 10 inch cast iron skillet it goes. You could use a Pyrex or whatever dish you have. We're gonna put it back on the smoker. So uh, just remember that we got it rocking now about 250 degrees. Just spread that around evenly. Next, we're gonna cover the bottom with that Italian sausage as much or as little as you like. If you wanted to throw some mushrooms, onions, and peppers, I'd probably saute them first, but you can add those in here as well. One cup of that reduced red sauce. Just some grated mozzarella cheese on top. Some Parmesan cheese. Just top that off with some pepperoni. And on the smoker it goes. Roughly 45 minutes later, you should look at something like that. Quickly, I'm just going to blow torch the top. Just for those pepperonis, just get a little crispy. Maybe brown some of that cheese up a little bit because I like it. Look at that little bubbly around the edge. That is my favorite. A little sausage sticking through. That looks good to me. All right, this is the idea. So why this? Uh, game day's right around the corner. Everybody's asking for appetizers. We try our best to give you what you want. And to be honest with you, I'm pretty excited. Crudités, bread, chips, crackers, you name it. Dang, that looks good. You know what it's like when you eat a Shaking piece of pizza. It's gonna burn you. You know what it's like when you eat a piece of pizza. <laughs> that is oh, 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 oh. God. That <laughs> is I gotta get one more bite before I talk about it. With a pepperoni. I'm telling you, we should have added vegetables. Here, let me, give me that bite. That's my bite. God, look at that bite. Mm. Now you're going to have to fit it in your mouth. <laughs> you have to one bite champ that one. Oh yeah, that's what I'm used to looking at. <laughs> oh, there we go. How do you can unlock them jaws? Ooh, hot, hot, ah, hot. What? Look at those rolls. Look how the butter just seeps in, kind of pull them apart. And that's why we kind of made it like that. If you just made it re regular, then you'd have to break it apart yourself. This is just so easy just to, to break apart like this. Golly, kind of like a little backbone to it. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. What'd you think? I ain't mad about it. <laughs> That's good. Mmm. Let's try again. Mmm. <laughs> that is good. Oh, don't mm. screw the whole thing up. Oh, glue that. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's hot, though. That's gonna be, that's gonna burn the mouth. That is good, though. Mmm. Yep, it's a winner. This is really good. This is really good. This would be really good for a game, really good for a party. Blown away by the flavor. It's definitely there. Have a blast doing it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press the subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share with your friends. Peace. Mm. <laughs> God, that's good. Mm-hmm.